Alright guys, on the last episode of my Nuzlocke challenge, I caught a bunch of Pokemon, I lost a bunch of Pokemon, and I managed to take out my rival, and I have two Pokemon left out of an original five. Uh, so my next goal is going to be getting through Viridian Forest for this episode. Yes, heal my Pokemon, please. Now, in Viridian Forest, I've already caught the Pokemon for Viridian Forest, which was my Caterpie. If you saw my last episode, and if you saw my last episode, you'll see that I lost my Caterpie one level before it freaking evolved. That really, really, really sucked. Poor Sticky Foot. Let's see, I also... I also caught the Pokemon from this little patch of grass here, which was a Pidgey named Pooper, whom I also lost. And that also sucks. But onwards and upwards, I always say. So I'm going to try to get through all of Viridian Forest this episode. And if I can, I would also like to see if I can uh, tackle Brock this episode as well. That may not be possible. I don't know how long it'll take me to get through Viridian Forest. I'm trying to keep these episodes down to about 15 minutes apiece, so I guess we'll see what happens. Uh, these, hmm. Now the big problem here is going to be all my Pokemon getting poisoned, so why don't I just nip that problem in the bud and send out my Poison-type Pokemon to handle them? Yeah, that should be smart. Ugh, poor, poor Bulbasaur, so, his attack is so low. Another tackler or two should do it. Alright, both my Pokemon are level 8. That was lucky. Caterpie next. Alright, Minnie is going to be switched out a lot, so why don't we give her some experience up front here. Her husband was named Mickey Mouse, or, well, Mickey the Raza, and he also died. M Mickey and... wait. I can't remember if it was Pooper or Mickey that lost because of an unfortunate speed tide I lost. Which sucks. It didn't even look like they were going through a speed tie, and then, boom, I die. Alright, this guy. Now one of these trainers has a Kakuna, which is kind of annoying, but since the Kakuna since the Kakuna doesn't have any attacking moves, I can just use that as an excuse to gain up some good experience points for one of my Pokemon here. Alright. No poisons, so let's switch over to Gumby. This is taking a long time, I'm not gonna lie, guys. <laughs> when Nick does his walkthrough on his Nuzlocke challenge, I'm assuming he's gonna pick Squirtle. And Squirtle doesn't have the best attack or special attack either. So he might take a while too. Charmander would be a much better choice. Okay, Kakuna, here we go. So we're just going to switch in Manny and give him all the experience here. Just 
quick attack this guy did. Ooh, lucky critical hit. And my favorite for change. Critical hits in Generation 1 were rampant. Oh. Alright. So his defensive stat is already halfway to the... Ooh. Lucky. I can't say halfway to the maximum, but didn't matter. That has at level 9, which is good. I'll need him as... I'll need her to be as high le highly level as possible so that I have a chance during this Nuzlocke challenge. Because the more higher level Pokemon you get, uh, you can train up early on, the better your chance of success. Mm. Come on, Gumpy. What the hell? Is he faster than me? That little bitch. There we go. There we go. There we go. Alright, level 9. Yeah, you ran out of Pokemon. Maybe the other trainers are doing their own Nuzlocke challenge. Maybe that's why I never see them in ever, ever again. Alright. Looks like we're about to hit the 7-ish minute mark. Which will be good. About halfway through, and I can. I should have enough time to go fight Brock as well. What's down there? Is that a Pokeball or Potion? Potion. Well, Nuzlocke challenges don't permit the use of potions, so. I won't be using that. There's an item here, too. Also, a Potion. Peter always get, gets really happy when we find a potion randomly. Alright, buddy. Well, bring it, let's bring it. Let's do this. I've got me a Weedle. Alright. No poisons. Um, now, if you saw in the, uh, my rules for Nuzlocke Challenge earlier on, you saw that I allow... I don't count a... Um, a death from walking around with poison. However... However, if you die in battle with poison, of course that's obviously counting as a death, and if, I, if you have a, an encounter with a Pokémon after your Pokémon has been killed from poison, uh from walking around, then that will count as a death. Because, just because in later generations there isn't that, um, mechanic in the game, so... I earlier on figured it'd be... it'd be more fair to do it that way. Tackle! Um, however, if you get into a battle with your Pokemon who has just fainted from walking around for poison, then I see that as, you know, that Pokemon took you out. So, basically, if I were to get my Pokemon poisoned and then it fainted while walking around, I would need to go to a Pokemon Center immediately, or else that Pokemon is indeed deceased. Alright, this Weedle is being annoying, so I just talked over him, and he is almost dead now, though. And goodbye, Weedle. Now there's a funny little glitch in the uh, Gen 1 games where Vansar, if you use Leech Seed and Toxic, the Leech Seed dam bit damage and the Toxic damage stack with each other. So it can just get really massive really fast. And I think I'll make use of that glitch. Assuming that my Bulbasaur survives that long. Alright, we're almost out of the woods, so I think you'll be safe if I attack him. Ooh, almost one shot at him. Watch me get poisoned. How did I know? How did I know I was gonna get poisoned? Oh my god. Freaking needle. Alright. 
There's a little spot of grass up here that I can catch Pokemon in, but I'm gonna wait until after I heal my Pokemon just in case. Because knowing my luck, he'll get taken out with a critical hit or something. I'm about 11 minutes into the battle, or into this episode, so damn it, don't you hate it when you did that? So, I don't know if my Pokemon aren't strong enough quite yet to go up against Brock. I might go against the little guy inside the uh, gym, the single guy, with his Diglett and, oh look at that, another Rata. And Sandshrew, um, just as a little extra training measure. Come on, no crits, no crits, no crits. Oh, thank God. That was close. So I got crit. Well done. Nickname to Rata. Another Rata, so I'm calling him. I'm gonna call him Mickey Jr. After my deceased Mickey. Okay. So yeah, that's what I'll do. This for the end of this episode, I'll battle this little guy. Then the next episode, I will train for Brock. Nope. Almost forgot to do the Pokemon Center. I can't wait to get the bicycle. Make all this menial stuff really quick. I apologize for sniffling. My nose is running today. Alrighty then. Let's put Mickey Jr. at the front and switch him out as needed. That way he gets a little bit of experience at least. Stop right there, kid. You're still late, you're from facing Brock. Really? Well, I think that you're nowhere from facing Brock. How about that? Yeah, it makes just about as much sense as what he said. Diglett! Little penis coming out of the ground. Oh, it looks like he's got little pubes there, doesn't it? Uh-oh. <laughs> A little bit stronger than I thought they'd be. It's my fault. That did quite a bit of damage, but I'm not worried yet. I think Diglett's pretty frail. Hmm, as frail as I'd like. And of course I get a critical hit. Of freaking course. Damn. Oh, I should have gone for the tackle. Oh, I misclicked. No. Oh, that's not good. That is really not good. Oh no! <laughs> oh man! Oh, that was so close. 
Oh no! Wow, that was so close. All right, I might have to sacrifice little Mickey Junior here. I didn't think this would be this intense. Sorry, Mickey Junior. You're just gonna have to take the fall here. Oof. Quick attack. Take it out. Oh man, that misclick. That misclick. Oh no. Oh man. That was just brutal. Oh, that level up might have helped a little bit. Oh man, I don't even know what to do right now. I am. I might be screwed. Alright, don't go for a scratch or anything, Sancho. Awesome. Okay, well, I might have to do utilize my first blackout rule. That's great. It wasn't even on a gym trainer, gym leader, or anything. Damn. That was my first blackout, guys. Oof. Well, that's it for this episode. Next episode, let's see if I can learn from my mistakes and maybe do a little bit better.